one point or another, we all wanted to be a wizard or to have some sort of magic powers. And let me tell you, if you thought Hogwarts was the ultimate school of wizardry, you have another thing coming. Castle of Deceit for the Nintendo NES. Now the title screen itself is nothing too concerning. There's no options or anything, so I guess we'll just jump right into it then. So it seems we're a mighty wizard in charge of gathering these mystical runes to restore the seals of protection all around the castle. And that's all I can find about this game. That's it. That's the story, I guess. Begin now! This game plays out like an action-adventure title where you have to scour the castle in search of key items to unlock new areas. The game throws you right into the fray the second it starts up. Throughout the entire game, you have one spell. When you fire the spell, it comes out of your wand in a wave-like pattern, which is just insanely annoying. More times than enough, I'll end up jumping up and down, firing at an enemy to kill them and just narrowly miss them. When you enter doors, you can actually see the characters just hanging out behind the wall before it skips to the next area. Sometimes when moving in between areas, you'll enter what I think are boss fights. This is the only part of the game that actually is playable. I wish I was joking. The game really goes into an Arkanoid perspective where you fire up at the boss to kill them. It kinda looks like the second and fifth bosses of Contra. Except in Contra, the controls were flawless, and the fights were fun. The game starts you off in Castle of Atlas, where you're immediately surrounded by some of the most annoying enemies in the game. The Grey Hats are a nightmare. They actively dodge your attacks, which makes it ten times harder because you can't aim anyway due to this shitty wave pattern. Castle of the Moons have these hungry butterflies that come crashing down at you in a matter of seconds. Even with world record reaction times, it is nearly impossible to avoid getting hurt by them. Especially when it takes multiple shots to kill them, and you can't f***ing aim! So let's see, we make it up the ledge here, and wh where do you think we go from here? To the left? Nope, there, there's nothing there. So should we go to the right instead? Oh no, there's a wall. Oh wait. On the left. Yeah. Yeah, there's an invisible platform. Unless you take that leap of faith, you'll never be able to find this damn path. What's even worse is there's no clues on how to get here. And during the path, there are gaps in the invisible floor. So try jumping around, hope for the best, and fend off the <coughs> butterflies at the same time. Oh, you son of a <coughs> In the Castle of Ages, you have to fend yourself from skulls that are just as dodgy as the f***ing <coughs> gray hats. And, uh, is that a sloth? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's f***ing sloth. You got the Grim Reaper, looking like he just got caught for something he really shouldn't have been doing. Hands up, Reaper! I've got a bone to pick with you! Sorry. You got the Castle of Wind. More doors. The castle of Poseidon is just a scrolling swimming level, but at the end there's a flying spaghetti monster. Praise his noodliness! Ramen! Castle of Deceit. Oh, they said it! You got more clouds, and more dodgy bullshit enemies. Honestly, this game is so boring, it makes swinging your junk back and forth and trying to catch it between your ass cheeks seem more entertaining. The corridor to the final boss is a royal pain in the ass. Every platform moves at a different speed. There's lava underneath everything that's ready to take your life, and there are enemies coming from every angle. You'll be lucky if you make it to the final boss. But when you do make it to the final boss, it's Jabba the Hutt! Or, if it's not, what the f*** am I looking at? Yeah. Once you kill the final boss, instead of him dying, the screen just blips. And that's it. You enter the door and you get a box of text. Finished. Congratulations. Congratulations! 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 Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Jonu Films for the best animation YouTube has to offer. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you can search for The Retrobit Show on YouTube or head over and subscribe to The Retrobit Channel like to see in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!